Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about a cool little knife um, from Rainier Knives, USA made company, and this is the Fast Pack. Before we get into it guys, I'm going to ask real quick if you'll hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to it. It'll help me out tremendously and I'd really appreciate it. The fast pack comes just like you see it here. Um, I think I put on the straps. I can't quite remember, but it did come with the Kydex sheath and the green micarta handles. It is a small little game and trout styled um, fixed blade, EDC fixed blade, I will call it. And it is in a very nice stone washed LMAX blade. Um, really good four finger grip i can get on this knife with absolutely no issues you've got this really nice well-defined forward finger choil so there's really only one forward grip for this knife you could hold it other ways of course you could even gas station fight it if you had to but it's designed to be held like this and to process things in the field or as I use it for to open boxes and things like that. Let me grab a um, piece of PPU Digest. That Elmax blade is very, very slicey. For an EDC knife, I think this little guy definitely hits the bill. It, um, it is slicey, it is light, um, the handles feel really good in hand, you can get a full grip on it even though it's a smaller knife, and I tend to carry this guy horizontally on my belt, the way you see it configured here, and I just carry it appendix style. So let's get a couple of quick size comparisons of the Rainier Knives Fast Pack. And let's compare it in size to my Jason Grant J-Cal. And it's a little bit bigger than the J-Cal. The Bradford Guardian 3. Guys, it is right about the same size as the Bradford Guardian 3. So let me give you a couple of folding knives that might help you with the size comparison. That is the Civivi Baby Banter. That is the Cold Steel 4 Max. So looking at the Civivi Baby Banter, you guys can tell it is a very small fixed blade. Here's the bitch made bug out. And here is the mini bug out. So as you guys can see, it's just about the size of the mini bug out. I would go as far as to say as it's just about the same size as the mini bug out. But a great little knife on the larger size for me of an EDC knife. But I love the fact that this is a stonewashed LMAX blade. I love how thin and slicey it is. I even love this little bit driver that's built into the, the blade. A lot of people think that's kind of gimmicky, but I can tell you from experience, it works. You could definitely adjust your knife or adjust anything you needed to with the bit with this little bit driver. Does it seem safe to have an open knife while you're torquing a bit? Not really, but if you're out in the field and it's on your pack and that's all you've got, it'll definitely be better than not having a bit driver, right? And I can't think that that's making too much weakness in that steel. Um, some people will probably say that that'll make the steel weaker, the knife will break. Not for what I use it for. Again, I'm not a hard use guy, but I'm pretty much sure you could use this knife for just about anything out in the brush. And that 
steel, that L-Max is going to be fine. Let's take a couple of measurements with the Javon promotional ruler. So I'm going to call this at right over six and a half inches total length with a three inch blade and a three and a half inch handle. And from point to choil, you're at three and a half inches. So that is from here to here. You'll also notice a nice sharpening choil here on the knife. I don't know if you can see that, but they have included a sharpening choil there. Let's see how spine is 0.119 behind the edge. 0.015 handle thickness is nice and beefy 0.596 which I think is a good thing of course you can take these handles off if you wanted it to be paracord wrapped or if you wanted it to be naked they actually sell this knife at Rainier USA I'll have a link in the description for you guys to go look at it at Rainier site um, but they sell it naked or with these green micarta handles, with black micarta handles, or with natural micarta handles. And it is a very light little package. 1.85 ounces. Three point oh five ounces with the sheet. So guys, that is the Rainier USA Rainier Knives Fast Pack. It is a great little package, super little knife. Um, the branding that you see is a little bit excessive, but I can get over it. It says Fast Pack on the blade. It says Rainier Knives, and it says LMAX. Full tank construction again. And this sheath, guys, that it's paired with has fantastic retention. There's no rattle, no issues at all. And it jets out of there. So if you're looking for the small fixed blade in LMAX, um, with the bit driver, with the really comfortable handle. Um, kind of like, a, reminds me of the White River um, small game, except it's a little bit smaller. But I think this is a great knife. It is on the larger size of what I EDC, because as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Chickadee which is going to be much smaller than the fast pack. And just to give you an idea, this is my little Boker Barlow BFF. So yeah, it's a small knife, guys. Um, and it's an effective little knife. So I hope you guys found that video informative. I hope you guys that are interested in fixed blades Give Rainier Knives a chance if you haven't checked them out before. I learned about them from a brother in the community, so hopefully somebody learned about this from me, and they check it out, and they have as good of experience as I have. Because I love this little knife. I could definitely give it a thumbs up and the Javon seal of approval. But guys, I appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification icon. And I'd really appreciate it if you look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.